Today I'm joined by Michael Chadwick of Chadwick Architects and we're talking about some of the invisible things that in our respective roles we're employed to watch out for and obviously knowing what can potentially go wrong and what to look for before a contract is signed or before a build starts is really valuable. So for example in my role if we're looking at buying a strata property we need to be prepared to call the, the manager of the strata company and go through the AGM and look at the minutes and ask them about any changes that have happened since the AGM, whether there's any building coding issues, whether there's cracking, whether there's any residents that are causing troubles, the list goes on, but we know all of those questions to ask. So today we're going to translate that into architecture speak and chat about some of those invisible issues that buyers might know a little bit about, but obviously Michael knows all about. Thank you. Yeah, well, having some knowledge can be empowering and, and really just being aware um, of some of the things that could go wrong before you start um, really can can help you with the whole process. So we, in our practice, we prepare, prepare, prepare. We, we love to get things all lined up ahead of time so that um, when when things can and do go wrong on site, you've, you've got things that you've already put in place to mitigate that risk. Yeah, so when we think about things that can go wrong, there's you know, cost blowouts for whatever reason, or there's time blowouts, but give me a couple of examples of those things that can come as a bit of a nasty surprise if you're not anticipating them. Sure, well, one great example is um, when you're digging your foundations, and you might have found this on your own. We chatted uh, about this. On your property, and it happened on mine during our renovation yeah. as well. Um, you know, rocks found down underneath the earth. You can't see it, you can't, um, you can't predict it, but you, you kind of know that it may be a risk that you'll have to come across. And so modifying a design or doing the testing prior and knowing exactly what you're dealing with? Yeah, you can do, you can do testing ahead of time, but you, yep. you aren't able to test the whole site. So yes. quite often they'll be erratic, so rocks that are, uh, could be in the way of a foundation. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, you just need to know who to call get your team around you, so your structural engineer, your builder and your architect, yeah. come and inspect the site and they can redesign the, the slab or the footings to accommodate that. Oh, very powerful, I wish I knew that. <laughs> what other invisible issues can we look out for? Well, if you're renovating, there, there'll be unknowns like you might have some termite damage um, within the walls that, that could have climbed up inside there. That's something you're probably not going to be able to find. Um, during, during your pre-inspections, you'll be asking people to go out and have a look for uh, for all of these sorts of things, like mm -hmm. water damage, um, termites, you know, things, yep. like, things like that. Cracking on walls is it's an obvious sign of movement yep. in a property. Um, and these are things that, if you've thought about them ahead of time, um, during your preparation for uh, your building project, you're, you're sort of lined up and ready to go. And what about the planning side of things? So the unknown yeah. people element. Well, yeah, planning's an interesting one. and. It, you know it's going to take some time yes. um, and just being aware of that is a good thing. Um, you can make sure that all of your documents and all of your schedules and everything is really clear and really um, uh, precise. Yeah. So with planning it's all about people, you've got council, you might have some overlays that you've got to be sympathetic to, you've got yeah. neighbours, um, you've got anyone who's potentially got a vested interest in this project. What are some of those things that can cause delays or go wrong for you? We, we love to try and manage relationships with yeah. um, within our practice and it's it's really important that you're working to the guidelines that council um, gives us mm -hmm. and that you're not compromising somebody else's amenity um, you know most people try try to get the best of themselves but also are aware of what other people yeah. um, how it can affect other people um, so just having that in mind when you're preparing really um, really great plans and your application for, for permits and, and speaking to people like your neighbours, if you're getting neighbours consent, do that ahead of time um, and you might find your journey is a, a bit smoother. Really valuable tips. Thanks for joining us today and I look forward to the next one. Thanks Kate.